I think we all recognize hard seltzer is here to stay. And now, what do we do? Well, we make a craft. There seems to be a lot of misunderstandings when it comes to brewing a seltzer. A seltzer is 100% sugar as opposed to malt. And malt has a, a ton of nutrients and minerals. Sugar has no nutrients or minerals. So essentially to brew a seltzer, 100% uh, sugar-based seltzer, you need to give the yeast all the nutrients and minerals it needs. We really need to nourish the yeast in a hard seltzer fermentation. We need to provide them with the right nutrients. So we set out to specifically formulate a blend for hard seltzer that allows our yeast to really be successful. Proper seltzer is a yeast nutrient that allows brewers to use any strain they want and create clean, very drinkable hard seltzers. Craft brewers are gonna wanna have their hand in this seltzer game, and they're gonna do it in all sorts of creative ways. For us at Hopewell, the way we're approaching seltzer uh, is we really wanna be playful with flavors, fruits, aromas, and even color. I know a lot of seltzers are perfectly clear, but we know if we're adding some whole fruit puree or some other fruits that have some acid, we want that to show through. Through our trials, we found that using our nutrient and our Lutra Kvike, you can turn around a four to 5% ABV seltzer in four to five days. Part of the reason we're working with Omega and specifically this Lutra uh, Kvike strain is that it's a super quick, super clean fermenter so that we know that we're not gonna be tying up extra tank space that we need for our year-round IPA or our year-round Pilsner. The benefit of using Kvikes in a seltzer fermentation is literally pushing the limits on your fermentation time and your temperature. The market currently seems to be you know, dominated by very big guys that are just producing you know, crystal clear, artificially flavored fruit concoctions. Now that craft brewers have taken an interest in this, we imagine there's going to be a lot of development and excitement in this field. What we're doing is we're just giving them peace of mind with this nutrient so that they can have a successful fermentation. We don't want them to struggle on the base. We want them to be able to layer anything on top of it and make a, a new product and just get crazy with it. And seltzer for us is uh, just another avenue to play around with some of those fruits that we find really interesting and can have just a great presentation. I think proper seltzer in, in whole is just gonna make the brewers accessibility to seltzer that much easier.